the front brake rotors and pads are being replaced on a vehicle equipped with a TCS traction control system and electronic stability control system ESC. Technician A says the yaw rate and deceleration sensor should be recalibrated. Technician B says the new rotors should be indexed to the hub using a dial indicator for the least amount of runout. Who is right? B only, this is the standard process by many OEMS when a new rotor is installed. Technician A is wrong because recalibration is not required for these sensors. Technician A says silicon-based brake fluid may be used in an ABS anti-lock brake system. Technician B says when an ABS wheel speed sensors fails, you must replace both wheel sensors on that axle. Who is right? Neither A nor B. Technician A is wrong because silicon fluid or DOT5 is not compatible with DOT2 or DOT3 and is primarily used in military and special applications because it has no affinity for water. Technician B is wrong because wheel sensors are not matched. Technician A says a pulsation felt in the brake pedal during an ABS anti-lock brake system stop indicates there is a problem within the ABS system. Technician B says the ABS amber light comes on during whenever there is wheel slippage. Who is right? Neither A nor B Technician A is wrong because the pulsation is normal and not a problem. Technician B is wrong because the amber light does not come on unless there is a fault in the ABS system. An ABS anti-lock brake system warning light that comes on as soon as the vehicle begins to move indicates. Bad wheel speed sensor. The wheel sensor is the only moving part listed as an answer option. Technician A says some noise and brake pedal pulsation is normal when the ABS anti-lock brake system actuator is operating. Technician B says the ABS anti-lock brake system warning light should come on and remain on for approximately 3 seconds after the key is turned to the on position. Who is right?
Both A and B. Both technicians are correct. Tech A is right because noise and brake pedal pulsation are a normal part of ABS operation. Tech B is right because the ABS warning light should come on and remain on for approximately 3 seconds after the key is turned to the on position. A vehicle has a noticeable pull to the left when the brakes are applied using heavy pressure. Technician A says a stuck floating caliper on the left could be the cause. Technician B says an open abs anti-lock brake system wheel speed sensor could be the cause. Who is right? Neither A nor B technician A is wrong because a stuck right caliper will cause a pull to the left. Technician B is wrong because defective wheel sensors do not cause brake pulls. The ABS anti-lock brake system and traction off indicator lights remain on with the engine running. Technician A says to check for ABS or TCS traction control system diagnostic trouble codes. Technician B says you can check for ABS or TCS blink codes by connecting two pins of the DLC data link connector. Who is right? Both A and B. Both technicians are correct. Tech A is right because you check for ABS anti-lock brake system or TCS traction control system diagnostic trouble codes when the amber ABS warning lamp retraction off light is on. Tech B is right because on older ABS systems you can check for ABS blink codes by connecting two pins of the DLC data link connector. The ABS anti-lock brake system amber light does not go off after the engine is started. Technician A says a parking brake not fully released could be the cause. Technician B says when this happens the brakes will operate like a normal non-ABS brake system. Who is right? B only, if the amber light is on it indicates an ABS fault and the system will revert to regular brake operation without ABS. Technician A is wrong because the parking brake only affects the red brake light not the amber. A three-channel ABS anti-lock brake system equipped vehicle has a wheel lock-up on braking with no amber warning light or DTC diagnostic trouble codes set. 
Technician A says contaminated linings on both rear axles could be the cause. Technician B says a defective front wheel speed sensor could be the cause. Who is right? Of only, contaminated linings on both axles could still have the same wheel speed in a three-channel system and not normally be detected by the ABS. Technician B is wrong because a front wheel sensor would set a code and put on the amber light. 